Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe. Today I'm going to be doing a review slash tutorial with some lashes. The company that I'm going to be working with today is Sugar Apple Lashes. Um, let me show you guys some of the lashes that they sent me. So Sugar Apple Lashes, this is in the style Mocha. I really love how like, like wispy these lashes are. Like one, it's like short long short long short long it really looks really really pretty and then this is then the style jawbreaker and these ones are really really full they're extremely beautiful and then there is bubble gum i really love bubble gum too i love those thick strands and then the single strands they look really good and then this one is in raspberry these ones are beautiful they are all beautiful um so i am going to go ahead and put them on i already ahead of time cut them and size them to my eyes so that this video doesn't take a long time with me cutting them and sizing them and everything so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna start off with raspberry and this is what she looks like So what you want to do is you want to get your tweezers and pull them off, but be very gentle because you can pull them off the band and you do not want that to happen. You have to be very careful and very delicate with your lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on the band. I am going to be using the Tarte Tardiest Pro Lash Glue in clear. Um, this is my favorite lash glue. I'm sure you guys have seen from the last video. Make sure you put a lot, put a lot on the ends. I'm going to go ahead and relax them. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Just make sure that the band is completely covered in lash glue so that your lashes are not falling off. I'm going to go ahead and get the other one and do the same exact thing. This brand's lashes are super beautiful and they are also super affordable. I will make sure to put their at below in the description as well as um, the direct link to their website. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to let those dry and get tacky. I am going to be curling my eyelashes and putting mascara, so get your curler. And curl your lashes. I like to curl mine first and then put my lash uh, and then put my mascara and then curl them again. And I'm going to be using the It Superhero Mascara. I love this mascara. I don't like to put a lot of a layer of lash glue uh oh just enough and I did ahead of time do my face makeup so that saddens me <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get this um like lash separator and separate my lashes so they're not clumpy
Okie dokie, I'm gonna have to I can't see it anymore. <laughs> and then I'm gonna clean up here too, because I did get my skirt up there. And this is why I don't really like doing my makeup before I do my lashes. Um, I just did it ahead of time, so I it didn't take up too much time in the video, and then so that you guys could see you guys could see like the full face effect with the lashes on. Um, so I'm still waiting for these to dry. I'm going to comb my eyelashes one more time. on these lash the tweezers have a little bit of lash glue on it and it's sticking to the lashes okay okay so this is kind of what the glue is like looking like um it does still have some color on it, some white. Um, it's slowly drying, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fan it off to help it dry a little easier. So you guys can see here, it is mostly dry. There's not as much white anymore. Um, so get your tweezers, you wanna pull them around right underneath the band, how I have it there. And then you're going to wanna get them as close to the lash line as possible. You don't want them too high or too low. You don't want them directly on the lashes because when you pull them off, it's gonna rip them off. So you don't want it too high or too low, just right above the lash, like right on, like above the lash line, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, hopefully you guys can see me do this. So I like to pull this down a little, like pull my eye down a little bit to, so it's easier to apply. And then... You do want to get the ends and make sure you put them in the right places. Okay, you guys see? I'm gonna make sure. Okay. And then what I'm going to do next, what did I draw? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the end of a brush, any makeup brush, and a spoolie. I'm using my eyebrow brush. Um, and then just going to intertwine your actual lashes with the falsy lashes. And Okay, there it is. So there is one side done. You can also pinch them together so that they do fuse together better, like that. And then I'm going to get the other one. It is not as dry as you guys can see. There's a couple of white spots. So 
Let's fan it off and wait till this one's done. Okay, I think it's done for the most part. So again, you're gonna do it with this side. Okay. Make sure you get those corners in their spots so they're not sticking up and they're not stabbing you. Okay. And then get your brush and your spoolie and fuse them together. And there it is. This is in the style raspberry. I am going to go ahead and put some lashes on my bottom lash. Just so you guys can see the full effect. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do this style bubble gum. I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on the lash band. glue set that one down and grab the other one gonna go ahead and wait for those to dry I'm actually going to have to dry these quicker just so we're not sitting here waiting forever since I already did everything I had to do maybe I'll curl my eyelashes again so they went down I'm going to get my makeup fan from Sand Warner. So beautiful and fan off the wash. <laughs> I use this for when I put my setting spray and then I fan it off.
I'm over here hitting myself in the face. <laughs> Can we just appreciate that glow? Even on the nose. I used the Artist Couture in Summer Haze to receive that beautiful glow. Okay, I'm gonna try and put it on. The glue is not completely dried, but I feel bad having you guys wait here forever, so. <laughs> I just hit my elbow. I tried to suck up that pain, but it really hurt. <laughs> okay. This one got like directly on my lashes, so I had to pick it up. My lashes in that corner don't like to cooperate a lot of the time. Okay, there is that lash. This lash is very beautiful. And then this lash for the most part is dry. Let's just dry it off a little bit. The difference lashes make is seriously unreal. Like, plain, beautiful, plain, beautiful. Okay, and now this side's on. And these lashes are really comfortable. Okay. This is in the style bubblegum.
She's long. Well, not too long. But she's full. And she's beautiful. Again, style bubble gum. Okay, guys, the next style I'm going to do is style Jawbreaker. I'll pull her out so you guys can see what she looks like. Very full and beautiful. I'm going to do the same thing I've done the past two times. Pull them off. Apply your lash glue. Gonna set that down. Gonna do the other one. And I'm going to need to get more lash glue after this. Okay. I'm going to fan off the lash so the lash glue can get tacky. Try not to apply your lashes with the lash glue wet. Um, because if you do, it's going to be harder to put on and they are going to make a mess. So you want to make sure it gets tacky. Um, again, this is another reason why I really, really love this glue. Because it turns clear when it's semi-dry tacky. Um, So this lash is pretty much done, just the corners are a little bit, are a little bit wet, but that's okay. I'm going to do this right away. I hope you guys can see. The last time I didn't like um, fuse my lashes together with the spoolie because they were already like when I put them on, I felt like the they applied perfectly onto the lash. So, oh my god, this lash is beautiful. Gonna pinch it all the way around. Okay, and then let's get our next one. And this one is still pretty wet. I really love this lash. She's definitely long. There, you get a better view. But beautiful. You never know the difference lashes make until like you start wearing them on a regular basis. And then after that you can never live without them because they're beautiful.
this one. It's like super wet here in this corner. I wonder if I can take off some of this glue. Okay, I took off some of the glue <laughs> since it was like super wet in that corner. Okay, I am going to apply them now. I really really love this lash this is probably one of my favorites from their collection I love them all I really do but this one is like my perfect lash <laughs> ah. These lashes keep sticking. Okay. This is in the style Jawbreaker. Okay, last but not least, we are going to be doing the style Mocha. Let me take her out. This is what she looks like. And this is the one that I was telling you where it was like long, short, short, long, short, long, short. I can't wait to see this one on. I'm gonna apply my glue. My lashes are all getting stuck together. from all the lashes. The lash glue. And applying all the lashes on. Okay, now I need to put glue on this one. Okay. And then I'm going to let it dry, of course. And then this one should hopefully dry a little quicker because I didn't put as much glue. Look at her lashes. Yeah, this one's drying pretty quickly. And this one down here is getting blown away too. <laughs> this one, like I'm noticing like the strands of lashes are, I don't know if you can see, but they're pretty separated compared to the other ones where like the strands are like really close. I was just 
a little bit more to go. I don't know if you can hear my daughter outside with her dad, but her little conversations that she has with him is so hilarious. Okay. This one. I do really, really love this lash. This is in the style Mocha. All right, guys, that is it for today. These were all the styles. Jawbreaker, bubblegum, and raspberry. And the one I'm wearing, mocha. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't um, forget to check them out. I will post their, um, their direct link to their website below as well as their Instagram and go check them out. They are really beautiful, really comfortable, and really affordable lashes. Um, again, sugar apple lashes, go check them out, and please do not forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment which was your favorite lash, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.